We are live now with Sean Brewer. What's going on, my friend? How are you? Good morning. All right, all right. Happy to have you. So you ran into some of this Vegas traffic, huh? Yeah, man. Coming from Henderson, you know what I'm saying? Oh, morning, oh, man. you out in Henderson? Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm fashionably out. late, still a thing, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm out in Henderson, man. I hate the, the the morning traffic. Thankfully, I don't get it because we, you know, I'm leaving the house at. I five. feel like Henderson is so far. No, I mean you could enter Henderson in like seven eight minutes. Yeah, from here. Yeah, yeah. I just live on the very edge of Henderson. You get what I'm saying? So it's a. That's what I'm saying. Like I be googling some address, it'd be like thirty. Man, I'm like, man, I ain't going over <laughs> from, there. From 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 where? From your house though? Uh, from the studio or from my house? Yeah. From your house, I could see it. From the studio, I don't know that there's any part of Henderson that's thirty minutes from. in traffic for sure. In traffic, like mm. the traffic you hit. Yeah. Yeah, because the other day I hit traffic and uh, it was a, it was a cool half hour ride, but in yeah. the morning, seventeen, eighteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, it ain't far. It's just it tra traffic make a difference, but. So, Sean, uh, you're in the shot, champ. So, Sean, tell us, uh, how'd you get started? I know these are kind of bland, generic questions, but they're still Surprise. useful, right? Because yeah. someone that ha doesn't know you, they, they, they probably want that story or need that story to want to follow you. So, yeah. what made you get into this sport? Man, you know what? I didn't start boxing until I moved to Texas my junior year of high school. So, uh, you're originally from where? Milwaukee. Okay. Oh, oh Midwest. Midwest. Okay, yeah, we right was just in Milwaukee. Yeah yeah, 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 the city. But um, yeah, man, I was always a basketball. So player, you're you're so. you're in the main city of Milwaukee. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. Yep. yep. Yeah, no, because you, you did some shit out there. Yeah, right? but we were in Watertown. You probably oh, never okay, been out yeah. there. Nah, I, yeah, that's a small town. I ain't never been out there. What yeah. about Brookfield? You know Brookfield? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Brookfield. Yeah, I've yeah. been up there. Yeah. I've been up Brookfield. there. Oh, wow. So that's 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 that's, that's official that you're from. Because the only other boxer that I know currently active from Milwaukee, obviously, is the top-ranked prospect. He's undefeated. Something like Martinez signed to split T. Cuba. And Cuba. Uh, Cuba. Cuba. It was uh, Cuba series. Thomas yep. Hill, which I don't. I don't Thomas. know. Oh, you talking yeah. about T Hill? Yeah. But he yeah. from Dallas. No, he from he would he would Earl. You talking about T Hill? Yeah. Uh, it's yes. Earl. He's a cop. He's definitely from Wisconsin. Really? Yeah. He's from Milwaukee. He's from he, Milwaukee. You know okay. He was out. He was out in Dallas too. Yeah. He, yeah. But is, is he even still him? fighting? Um, I think he a cop now. He is. I don't know if he was gonna you know still do both. Uh, I haven't. I, I saw him a couple months ago, but uh, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what the plan was. But he's from Milwaukee as yeah. well. So. Yeah. So, so what got you into it? You said uh, obviously you you left from Milwaukee to to, to Texas, and yeah. that's where you got hooked. Yep. How so? Man, I seen I seen some eight year olds, eight year olds just going at it. Like, and how old were you at the time? Sixteen, seventeen. Okay, around there at that, that age. But um, my cousin was coaching little kids, and I went to the gym with him. You know, just to stay active. I just wanted to stay busy, have something mm -hmm. to do. And I seen some eight year olds going at it, sparring. I'm like. Man, they live, look better half than these, you know, more than half of these men out here that be trying to fight, you know what I'm saying? So I just got into learning it and learning the art and craft. And then, like, next thing you know, in about two, three weeks, I was already in the ring sparring. Mm. And then I was natural at it, you know what I mean? And just. What what part of Texas were you at? Austin. Okay. Oh, nice. So yeah. don't really hear too much boxing coming out of Austin. So. Not, not too much. Really, the big names out of Austin is, uh, you know, Ann Wolf, James Kirkland. Um, Brian Vera, you know, those are some of the big names you really hear, but other than that, it's right, you know, Brian right. Vera did his thing. So, so what was that? What was that process like for you? You're down in Texas, you learn the sport, you get to spawn. What, you know, what's the process like for you? Because in the sport, most would say you got started pretty late. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yep, I, I did, but when I did get started, man, that was you know, Texas is a big amateur boxing Absolutely. state so like they fighting every weekend just mm. like cali so um man as soon as i got my first fight i was fighting every weekend you know stacking them up i got 67 fights in in the and, amateurs yeah in the course of four years mm. and i got ranked number seven or eight uh in the first two i was boxing mm. so like once i accomplished that i'm like okay and i put more into it and put more into it after that to accomplish more but um yeah man just start starting at that age you if you dedicated to it, you know what I'm saying, you stay on it and just keep keep grinding it out. For sure. Now, so, um, 
Let me jump in here. So, so in Texas, who started you out in Austin? Who was your trainer? My big cousin, Rico Spencer. Okay. And uh, when did you stop working with him? Um, We still talk day to day, but uh, I train with Bones Adams now. We ran into him when I was an amateur. Uh, we just came out here for the boxing scene. You know, it's a melting pot, so everybody want to come to Vegas right, for boxing. For sure. Um, so when you say we, who? Me and my big cousin. Okay. Yep, yep. And then a couple other amateurs. And uh, the first time I came out here, we ran into uh, Bones Adams at the the Boxing Hall of Fame at Circus Circus. And after that, like, we just clicked and we, you know what I'm saying, stayed in contact. And when I decided to go pro, we decided, you know, that was the route that we wanted to go to pursue it professionally, training with Bones Adams. So, so your last... Well, actually, all, both of your fights have been three. with three. Well, he got you no. Got, he's got one schedule, but his two fights have been with Bones because I no, did his I you, did his pro debut with Bones. You three and zero though. Yeah, yeah, I'm three and zero. He's he's three and zero. The issue, the issue, and I was gonna tell you because I realized why Boxrec doesn't show it. Yo, you got to make sure to stay on top of the Mexican promoters, bro, yeah. because we call fights. Well, no, we that, call that that says it happened here in America in Detroit. It, it, His it, last yeah, fight not is not on box rec. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's still it's still being approved. Yeah. You know, oh. So so and that's what I was gonna tell you because we we have fights that we have the rights to from Mexico, and they weren't on box rec. And when yeah, we found yeah. out, we learned the process of how box rec works out there. Yeah. And it's once the state gets the the results, then. You know they have somebody to input it into box right, yep, yep. but just make sure to stay on top of that because yeah, yeah, you know you, like yeah. right now you know I knew because of Instagram that you had just fought. What was the last week? About, or, two, about weeks two weeks ago. ago about two, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago it was the twenty fifth or twenty six. Twenty, I think twenty six. Okay, yeah, twenty six. So, so, so you know, just stay on top of that because yeah. obviously that's just important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's while, one less you know, win. That's yeah. one less win exactly. they got right there. But it does show that you have something scheduled for ten days from now. Yes, sir. April fifteenth in, in Detroit. Detroit. Yep, in Detroit. So uh, do, it says TBA, obviously uh, yep. to be announced. Yep. Have they given you a few names to look at, or is it just like really they're gonna tell you when you get there? I'm not even for sure. I'm just staying ready for, you know, mm. anything that's to come, you know. That's the most important part is stay ready for anything at all times. But um, Lee, Lee Baxter, you know what I'm saying, he's the one who's looking out for me. So I know he's doing his job on his end. To okay, Lee Baxter, the promotions, I, yeah. I think he has a, some sort of uh, contract with um, Samuel Vargas, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how'd you connect with him? Through Bones. Because isn't he from Canada? Yeah, yep. But okay. uh, Samuel, he came out here to train a couple of times and had a couple of fights with Bones. So, you know, got oh. interlinked with that, you know, so. Now, I got to ask, obviously, so young in your career, the goal, I would imagine, is to get that experience, get those rounds in, yep, you know, thanks. get the work in really in the gym. For sure. Obviously, for sure. staying active and not having long periods of time without fighting. You don't want that, but you definitely want to get those rounds in in the gym. I, I've seen you get some good sparring with a couple of my guys, seen you get some sparring with some top names, uh, yep. Javante Davis, yep, yep. among some other names. You know, talk to us about some of the guys. Damn, you, you sparred Tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I when? sparred Tank, yep. This was uh, before he fought... Um, Barrios? Yeah, Barrios, yep. I before thought he fought so. Barrios, yeah. yep. But what's your walk around at? Because, like, you yeah. fight. It looks like you about to go down to 118 because you're – well, the one that's last on BoxRec says you weighed in at 120. Yeah, comfortably. Yep. But um, I walk. I usually walk around about 130. You know what I'm saying? No more than 130. Um, But, yeah, when, when I got the opportunity, I got the, my coach got the phone call. Like, you want to spar – I sparred that earlier that day too. And I'm like, heck, yeah, I ain't care about getting paid or nothing. I'm like, that's an experience everybody yeah. can get. So – I hopped on it, and I was just thankful, you know what I'm saying, to even had the opportunity to spar with him. You know What'd what I mean? you take like, away from that? Man, he <laughs> that man's power is real. His man, That man's power is real. That's um, so crazy. Everyone we, we interview <laughs> that has been in the ring with them, they say that. Yeah, yep. They... They they always say that. That's crazy. He's like the Deontay Wilder in that division, yeah, bro. Yeah, he is. It's crazy. And, and his demeanor, like his demeanor in there, like he mean. Even though he was working, we was working. His demeanor though was like, you know, what I'm saying, kill it. But when you say we was working, did 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 you or did they tell you, look, we need you to give us this look, or you told or or. or 
your trainer told his trainer, look, Sean only got two fights, so take it easy. Nah, he didn't know how many fights I had. He didn't know if I was an amateur or pro or nothing. I just, you know, Tall Linky, it was a style that he was getting ready to fight. Um, It was before his, like, you know, in his early training camp, he was getting into it. But uh, he 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 obviously seen how small I was, so he was we was working, but he he went he was still like you know trying to touch me, trying to get to me. He went like you know pity patting or nothing, but like it, it was work for real. It was work for real. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many rounds did you do? We did six. You did six straight with Tank. Yep, six straight. Yep. Mm. Was yep. was that? Did, did you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna ask. Was that your your time? Your only time sparring, Tank? Yeah, yeah. My, yep, okay. that was my only time. Yep. What? Uh, go ahead. Did you get exhausted? Like, was his six rounds more intense than your normal six rounds with someone else? It what, man? It's crazy because when I when I went in there, my mindset and thought process was like I felt like it was at the sharpest because like. Any mistake, I could be yeah. lights out of the canvas from tank. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, in that moment, I felt like like my mindset was just sharp. Yo, I'm 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 curious, right? Because we were discussing this yesterday. Uh, I don't remember if it was before or after we went to the gym, but anyway, have you ever had a shit in sparring? After, <laughs> okay. After it, like if I if whenever I well. When I did eight rounds, it was eight hard, eight tough rounds, and I'm like going so hard, man. It, you know what I'm saying? So Again, so it was. I think I believe it was Angelo Leo. Okay, oh, Angelo wow. Leo, hey, tough. One of my homies. You know what I'm saying? That's who I get some of the best sparring from. Yeah, former world champ, obviously. You know, uh, that damn man, you've gotten in there with some big names. I saw you in there uh, with Josh Greer as well. Yep, yep. yep. Um, what That's other names have you got some working? I saw, I saw you. Uh, some pictures, obviously, uh, with Gabe Flores. Did yep. you get some work with Gabe as well? Yep, I got work a couple times with Gabriel Flores. Okay, what was that mm -hmm. like? It's good work, you know. Chest, chest in the ring. Um, of course, he's bigger than me, but uh, it pushes me. You know, it's good for me because all the guys I'm gonna be fighting is typically smaller than me, shorter than me. So, I'm I'm curious because we just called some fights from exactly where you fought in Hamai Jalisco. Yeah, I just just curious what your experience was like. You know, going to Mexico, right? Yeah, that was my first time fighting in Mexico. I've been to Mexico. Were they times. booing you? Because <laughs> Devin Haney and his father say when they started at 17, you know, like that that they're grateful for going to Mexico because they a got introduced to the Mexican style yeah. and b they've learned to perform with people. Booing. basically booing and, yeah. and rooting against them yep 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 that's what happened man the opponent i fought he had he had a, a, a everybody there was there for him like a hey, introduced him ah crowd went crazy introduced me boo <laughs> all i could do is laugh i'm like wow this is real you <laughs> you got the knockout though um yep. did you not get uh, applauded or cheered once you yeah, got Yeah, yeah, definitely Cause, did after. Because I was going to say, I feel like most Mexican fans want to see a good fight. Yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is what drew a lot of Mexican fans to Golovkin, which is what, yeah. um, look, perfect example. I'm, you know, Mexican American. I was in Dallas for Chocolatito. Okay. Uh, Estrada. Okay. Estrada's a okay. Mexican, Chocolatito, the Nicaraguan. Big, big fight, big fight. Big fight. I was rooting for, and I thought that Chocolatito won. I feel that the majority, because it's all Mexicans in there. It was yeah. all this. The fight was in Dallas. Exactly. number. Damn, Mexicans. Sean. What's up? And, uh, and that's a big ass fucking coffee, bro. For ten days, Man. you about to fight in ten? That got yeah. whipped cream and <laughs> cookies and all type of shit in there. Man, I had to wake up this morning. Right. I had to wake up. What time but. you usually wake up? I usually don't get up to about nine. Mm. Damn. So you can 10, eat 10, sweets. You must be loving it then. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm calm. Man, I, one thing about me is I'm disciplined. So if I have room for it, I'm going to take it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, of course. Of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what is what is your diet like, though? As far as like. Obviously, Starbucks in the morning. <laughs> no, I'm nah, saying. I'm messing yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about like what type of food, you know, just because these are things that people wonder, right? You know, what type yeah. of food is it that you're intaking? Just as a fighter, you get what I'm saying? What is your typical, like right now, what. Would you, uh, would you eat yesterday? What, you know, what was breakfast, lunch, and dinner for you like yesterday? Breakfast, oatmeal, you know, sparring day. So I had oatmeal, fruit, 
Yo, told you. yo, my man's is literally I'm yesterday. You, champ. Now tell them why you why why you eat oatmeal and not like a egg like sandwich that, yeah, with a coffee. Yeah, like yeah. why why do you think it's best just to eat the oatmeal? Just from my experience, uh, for me, it's fulfilling, and you know, it gives me energy. You know, so like to burn to have more output. You know what mm. I'm saying? So you know, it's so funny. The fiber is good it's to a, it's, for energy and to that's just so the funny because. He said the same shit yesterday. The funny thing is, he said the same shit on camera. <laughs> like, well, I said it more explicit because for me, I don't want to eat a big breakfast and then end up sparring. See, you a fighter and you are a professional fighter, so your stuff is scheduled. Yeah, like you said, you gotta call him and he asks, "Hey, you already sparred? Do you want to spar again?" Like, I'm just a dude in the gym, so they're like, "Yo, you want to spar?" So I try not to eat crazy because then, like he told you, like, uh, you know, I don't want to be that dude that gets hit in the body and I got a shit. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because yeah. in my <laughs> old gym, in Glenn Tapia's gym in Jersey Boys when I was in, in New Jersey, it's like, if you got to use the bathroom, you lost. Yeah, you know, they, yeah. they counting those shits yeah. as knockdowns. <laughs> you got Kendall Holt teasing you. So yeah. it's like, you got to watch what you put in your stomach because you never know, you know, what's going to happen and, and, and who's going to need you to work with them in the gym. Have that you ever time. have you ever gotten hit to the body that you was like? Not that not that I wanted to use the restroom, but I told you the girl, Shadeja Green, hit me in the body, bro. I had to, like, start jogging because <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to go down because they... But obviously, it's still a knockdown because I literally was like, I right. and I start off. jogging around yeah. the ring like, hold up, because yeah. that double left hook was crazy, man. Yo, She's an animal. Um, I got some sparring with one of my guys. We was in Afghanistan and opened up a gym out there. Okay, and we got some sparring, and he has amateur experience, but he's he's smaller than me. Uh, not too much by height, but like naturally smaller frame, and uh, we were sparring. And the guy that was quote unquote training us, uh -huh. he ain't no pro, but look, he was helping us. He knew a little bit, you know, we appreciated it. And he would always tell us, yo, fellas, y'all here to work as far as we're in Afghanistan literally to work. That's why we're here. Yeah. Don't go 100% in sparring. He said, always go about 70% because you get hurt out here. We don't have... <laughs> We not in America with everything available to us. Yep. So I caught him. I caught him with a with with a overhand right, and I rocked him. Okay. Okay. And I was like, "Fuck," because I knew I knew he was about yeah, to fuck about me. To turn up, yo. Yeah. And so I'm like trying to keep him off me. I'm shooting a jab, 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 throwing the right hand, trying to keep him off me, yo. And he like moving and shit, and you yeah. could tell he was pissed that yeah. I caught him with that right hand, and he came <laughs> and he fucked my body up. And I remember it was a left hook that he threw to the body that he got around the guard. Man, yeah. I was <laughs> look, man. Thank God, thank God for headgear because the faces I was making, I'm like, damn, that <laughs> shit hurt. That shit hurt. Who who has hit you the hardest that you that you was like, yo, like what, was was that Tank? Uh, it it was him, but another guy that I got in the ring with. Uh, I think he fight at 135 now. Uh, Y'all probably don't know him. His name Brock Jarvis. I sh I Jarvis sh what? Bro Brock Jarvis. Brock Jarvis. Oh, Brock Aust Jarvis. Australian. He just he fought oh. on um, can't remember what card it was, but it was on a, on a I think it was the zone, a Golden Boy on the card maybe. Okay. But man, up and coming, he, tough, okay. tough, strongest body shot I took from him. Mm. <laughs> mm. How often, right? Because I think people don't understand how hard it is. Tell us how often do you see a knockdown or knockout in sparring in the gym? Uh, not, I mean, here and there, here and there. But it's not, it's, it's not like a regular thing. Yeah, right? it's not a regular okay. thing. It, it, Johnny ain't putting people down. Big, Johnny, at, yo, big Johnny, Johnny, big as fuck, yeah, man. Big Johnny, he touching boys, but you know what I'm saying. He he ain't putting them down, putting them down. But he he definitely capable of it. That's but crazy. He is huge, bro. Yeah. Like he make me feel like I need to eat more. His shoulders and chest and Man. arms are like huge. <laughs> he crazy. Huge. Yo, Johnny sparring thirty twos though. Yeah, that 32. was them thirty two yeah. ounce gloves, yeah. Man, yo, I've yeah. never heard anybody. Me neither. Yo, what you what you sparring? Sixteens. Yep. 16s. And you hitting the bag in what? Sixteens and, and, and then you know close to the fight, I break it down. Fourteens, tens, eights. So. What about pad work? I. I do 16s, if not 16s, then 8s. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. 16s, yeah. if not 16s, then 8s. Yeah, to see, that's what I use, 16 for pad work. Uh, but Bill was saying, Bill Haney was saying, you know, they dropped down to like. Get cl- close to the it, fight. Nah. Uh, saying. He said focus miss or the focus. Yeah. So how you going to focus with 16 ounces, that's which fact. are going to make you hit yeah. the target better? You got to you gotta do focus miss with your fight gloves yeah. so that you're sharper and you're more accurate. That shit makes right. so much sense, yeah, man. Punch punch yo, placement. Bill's underrated, man. Punch placement. You got to yeah. think about yeah, it. Like yeah, because with some 16, you're going to hit that pad. For yeah, sure. Yeah. But with some eights, you might miss that you, pad you or barely miss. hit you gotta, the target. You got to hit it right with yeah. the eights on. Otherwise, you know, you mess your hand up, your wrist up, yeah. anything. So Bruh, so, so you never sparred Devin? I sparred him uh, back when he was, I think he was in his beginning pro career. Oh. When he was small. How long you been in Vegas? Two and a half years. Okay. But I've been coming out here back and forth for like five. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's when I sparred uh, Devin. Way way back when he was my size, you know. <laughs> How was that? It was good work, man. It was real good work. He that's when he was um starting to adjust on how how to fight in the pocket, and that's I was learning. I was take like taking away stuff from that as well. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was an amateur. Um, didn't have that many. Well, I had fights, but you know, experience wise, as far as his level and my level at the time, um, you know, he could take those risks to to try and either slip a shot or stay right there in the pocket. And, and give it back, make him miss, make him pay. So, I, I definitely learned from that too. So, he's sharp though, man. That man is sharp now. Yeah, sharp. man, he is. I'm. I, he's actually gonna be there today at one. I'm going to yeah. check him out again, man. Yep, just yep. to. S- you see his work ethic though. What do you think about this fight, him and Cambos? Uh, well, I'm always. I was always picking Devin. Um, yeah, yeah. I've been picking him for a long time. Been following him since he was 12, man. Before he okay. even was gonna be a pro i just like seen this little kid doing pad work that good i'm like oh this is good for youtube you know what i'm saying yeah, i didn't yeah, know yeah. he was gonna be this yeah. there you there's a video of uh dev years ago he was probably 15 16 at the time on on, on the channel mm-hmm. that doing pads with uh floyd, floyd senior yeah. yep. that shit's over a million yeah, yeah. that shit that shit was over he's million. younger i think he's younger than 15 though in that video, is he? I think so. Regardless, regardless, uh, it's been showing for a while. Um, bro, I've been working for him for four years, right? Yeah. The day I met him. <laughs> Yo, you love telling this story. Oh, it's a cool ass <laughs> story. Like, tell me this ain't a cool ass story. Like, the day I met him, we sit down, we have a talk, just boxing in general. He's trying to see how much I know. He told me, look, man, you in Vegas, invest your time in Devin Haney. <laughs> invest your time in Devin Haney. Yep. And and bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, it took me it took me a while, you know, cuz they move around a lot too. It did take me a while, but you know, just like anything, good things come to those who wait and thankfully with time, we you know, we've developed a relationship, sure, but but sure. yo, the way he works, I was telling him we was in the gym the other yeah, day. Yeah, I ain't get to catch you, and I'm cutting you off. They're saying in the chat, I keep cutting you off, but I got to cut you off. <laughs> I ain't get to see you uh, shadow boxing, but did you see Devin shadow boxing? I have a couple times. Do you notice he, he put it, he put like his all in, like. It looked like he yeah. fighting in a shadow boxing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's mindset. You got to picture the fight, anything, like every situation, scenario, when you shadow boxing. I've like, never seen that, bro. Yeah, I, and you yeah, know, yeah. I ain't been in everyone's gym, but I've yeah. been in a lot of gym. I've got 10 years or better. Yep. I never seen no one spar with that. I mean, excuse me. Shadow box. Shadow box with that intensity. Like, yeah. he throwing hooks and it's like sweat falling off his nose and elbow. And I'm like, yep. what? Yep. Usually people loosening up when they shadow. They got their hands open. And, yep. you know, you see them like jerking the uppercut. <laughs> like, you know, you yeah. just looking good. I never seen no one like really like it's a fight. And yeah, it's like, yeah. uh, uh, uh. I'm Make, like, making wow. Making it a habit. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. That's how, So what do you choose to do? It's the same thing, okay. you know. I, I I gradually pick it up though, you know. Okay, I warm up, stretch, and, and get my my technique right, and then that's when I once I get in that flow, you know, I start. That's another that thing I was up. taught. Like, oh, you not supposed to go so intense because shadow boxing is to practice on technique. Like that's yeah, why you look yeah. in the mirror, make sure you're turning over. Yeah. And I'm just like watching this kid, like holy smokes! I'm still doing everything though, still turning, perfect, still turning everything over. Like I was, I wish they would have let us record. Did they let you record when he was doing the the uh, hook? Uh 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 uh. <laughs> now Bill, Bill, Bill knows. Bruh, uh, so accurate. Bill knows double he, hooking. Like 
boom, dip under, boom. Yep. I'm like, how people saying he ain't got power? Yep. Like, obviously, I watch all his fights and he's not knocking them out, but to to see it in the ring, I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be hit with that. Yeah, no, for sure. Crazy, man. <laughs> so, so I, I got to work with Bones a little bit yesterday. And, um, okay, okay. Uh, Blair the Flair walked up in there. Okay, I gotta hit him up. Yeah, him up. he came back in there. He full, full, full on Blair. I love Blair. Blair, the Flair, yeah, um, so him. did you get to work with him too? Who Blair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That's my homie, man. Um, I've been knowing him for years too. Uh, been in the ring with him. You know, just going over things. He's showing me different tricks and trades because he he learned from Bernard. You know, if I could get some of that, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna take it. I was saying that yesterday to Danny, like. I know people, you know, now, because Earl came out and said he's a 32-year-old prospect, plus he lost. They're like, they kind of <laughs> yeah. down on him. Yeah. But I was watching him work yesterday, man. Look, he ain't shadow boxing as intense as as as, as Devin, as Devin yeah. but he's a nice moving his, his southpaw, he, man. He, he talks to himself, too. Yes! I mean, I'm yeah. so happy. I, yeah. I was going to ask you, was that like... I'm like, yo, is he turning it on because he know I'm here and I'm a, and I'm a reporter? Or is yeah. this, he really like in there and he's moving. He's like, yeah. jab, one, two, slip, it, duck, it, it, jab, it, one, two, slip, duck. But, and I'm like, crazy. what? Is he going to stop talking or is this shit real? It's and hard, it was it's real. To do that. It's hard to do that. I tried Of course, it. you even waste some more energy. You're just talking as breath. Like, yeah, yo. Yeah, even think like to know what you're going to do before you even And his pivot, go, he, like, he was doing this thing where he was like, jab, it wasn't man. a full pivot. I think it was like a step. And, and then, then he, he would dig the left then, to the body from that south pole. I'm like, man, Blair looking good. But then I know, I knew when I brought this up today, people, were like, oh yeah, right, because he didn't get the win. But yeah. he looked good. Yeah, no, he looked sure. good, for man. Sure. He looks sure. really good for sure. and very uh, in shape too. Like you know yeah, what I mean? He was definitely in shape. I saw, I saw when he took his shirt. He off. must like, have like a really naturally good metabolism because he came in there like. Rip. I'm yeah, like, he, yeah, he liked that natural too. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. man. So you surrounded around a lot of, talented. you know, talented yeah. fighters. That's you know, exactly why I moved here, man. Surround myself with it. Sheesh. You know? And and you're in the morning shift. You uh, is it because you work during the evenings or what? Because I know Johnny is like a two o'clock, three o'clock. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, Devin yeah. is a one o'clock. Yeah. It felt like uh. We were we were just finishing when so that was a, a, a like, Shane 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 is early yeah, though Shane, he always yeah, leaves yeah, when we early. he be wrapping up with yeah. you he get, yep, I guess yep. y'all get in the same run, time yeah we run that same time that's just our time frame for for bones you know what I'm saying with his schedule so because he got kids taking them to school and all yeah. that we drop them off then we come in so what we, time you officially start in between uh nine thirty and and ten okay. nine thirty and ten so. And right, I fin- so you're there for like two hours, yeah, two about, hours and a half? About two hours, yep. First 30 minutes warming up and then, you know, getting Wow, 30? It. What do you do well, to warm up? Stretching, jump rope. I, I consider that warm up. Okay. Jump roping okay. and shadow boxing. And then, um, you know, straight into whatever we're doing, strict conditioning, pad work, whatever. Do you, yeah. um, like, count the minutes that you uh, do jump rope or is it just like you do... Until you move to the next exercise, I usually do it for about ten minutes. Okay, warm up. You got some then, tips, champ. You know. I'm I'm terrible, bro. But trying to lose weight and jump roping really, you know, uh, I noticed that's, that that's I'm just special, terrible man. at. I, I noticed that I noticed yesterday. I was watching myself jump rope in the mirror. Mm-hmm. I noticed yesterday that when I jump, like my heels kick out. No, they 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 yeah, hit like, each like, other. Oh wow! Yeah, I noticed okay. that, and so what I. I try to like spread my feet out, but I'm like, yo, I'm doing, I'm not doing something right because everybody got their feet close together. You so. jump up on your toes. You gotta be on your toes. Mm. It's, like, it's a light bounce, you know, light mm. bounce. You know what I'm saying? If you try and jump rope flat footed, that's like jumping up. That's Next time we yeah. in the gym, <laughs> I need you. I never asked anybody, but I'm tired of watching fighters. It was a fighter there last night, yesterday by the name of Martinez. Yeah, yeah, Abram What's Martinez. His, what's his name? Abram. Abram or Abram. Abraham? Abram. Abram, I yeah, gotta look Abram. him up. He was looking good too. Nah, he, man, you never seen him fight. Nah. That man is sharp. Bro, I'm not from the West. I'm, yeah. I'm moving from the East, so I'm about to learn everybody he, now. He, he real close with Rolly. You said Martinez. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah, him and Rolly, they, they homies. Oh. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? They, okay, because I they, want Rolly on this show, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's mm-hmm. nine and one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Orthodox. He was doing this. Oh wow, he lost his last fight. So that's why why it's he was so intense in the gym. He got the chip. Yeah, chip fight. on his shoulder. He was mm-hmm. doing this uh 
him and Bones was working like on this double left jab. And then the right hand. That, but the right is like an uppercut to the body. Yeah. But he was like making him turn the the the, the hip. Yeah, the whole and hip it's like, it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. He yeah, yeah, had yeah, that so shit looking good. Yeah, I, and I, all I could think is like, damn, this kid might be a puncher. And he wasn't even hitting no bat. It was all shadow boxing. But his intensity on that. Right hand yeah. to the bottom, like man, I wonder yeah, if he's a nah, puncher. He, he's sharp, that and is. uh, right away, you know, I like the way he looks, so yeah, I, I bring, I'm bringing him up yeah, to you. Yeah, I do your research on him, man. He, yeah. he, he's sharp for real. So, so he had a tough fight, you're saying, his last time out. Who I believe it was, I think okay. it was, I think it was in Florida. Yeah, it was in Florida, yeah. Hialeah, uh, eighth round TKO loss. But now, nah, I was watching that same, same combination, I was watching Bone. Bones talk to him and I'm just I'm just like looking, just Listening trying to looking, yeah. yeah, you know, just trying to learn, right? Just yeah. trying to learn. Because at the end of the day, like for me, my goal is really to lose weight. But at the end of the day, yo, if we in there, we we gonna be doing it the right way. You get what I'm saying? You know, for let's sure. let, let let's do it the right way, the way it's supposed to be done and you know, and for keep sure. and, and keep rocking. So yeah, just yeah. trying to learn just different things. Uh you know, shit. Rancis is in there. I'm, 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 yeah, but I'm watching, yeah. you you get yeah. work with him because he's he's what is he one thirty five right now? He fight. I think he fight at one thirty five. Yeah. One thirty five, one forty. Oh, he moved up to forty. I think he you know just fluctuates, but I think one one thirty five for sure though. So you've gotten some work with him. I've been in the ring with him. You know, we was going over it because he, he same frame. You know, long, linky, tall. Uh, just using your jewel. He that's what we go over a lot is. Using the jab, man. The jab is key. Jab is key for sure. That's your money. But um. So what's next for you, man? I obviously just got done fighting, but yeah. Back in the ring, no, you know, yep, obviously yep. no breaks. What's what, what's next for you? What's ideal? What, what's an ideal 2022 for you? The goal is to, the goal is to at least have 10, 11 fights by the end of the year. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? If we set the bar, we're gonna shoot for it. So um. It is definitely gonna be a busy year this year, and uh, you know, try and get 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 up there and out there, and you know, be known more and get that get that good contract and be on my way to being great. You know what I'm saying? So, Are you with Prince Ranch? Nah, nah, oh, nope, nope. So you're independent hey, out here, just yeah. you and Bones. Yep, just me and Bones. Nice, you know what I'm nice. Getting it done. So there we go. Yeah. Do you have a plan? Any any five year plan? And like. I'm assuming Bones is who you uh, confide in and, and vi advises you. Yeah, yep, yep. He, you know, he he pretty much helps me out on that aspect. Uh, you know, reaching out to different people. Um, the goal was to to try and get with Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? He 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 managed Bones, so Bones know him personally. Um, we were trying to get him behind me, but we we talked to them. That's and, you know what interesting. Mean? Yeah. I'm yep, gonna have yep. to get Bones in here. I didn't know he was man. I never heard of yeah. a, a trainer being managed. That's a story I need. Yep, yep. This is back when you know he was fighting. So. Oh, yeah, he managed when, him as a fighter. Yeah, he has a fighter. He's no, I'm about to say, yeah, hold yeah, up. Yeah, how's he? Fighter. You know, well, how's he being managed as a trainer? That was yeah. interesting. Okay, yeah, as a yep, fighter. As a fighter. Got you. Got you. Yep, got you. Yep. yep. See, so, you know what you need to do? Go get some sparring over that top rank with one of they guys. One of one of Jay Prince guys. Yeah, yeah. No, Jay Prince. That Joshua Greer. That's their people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, they got another cat from Chicago right now. Uh, one and one of my boys. Chris? Nah, um, Antoine Cobb. He's one and one one KO. He just signed, yeah, we just had him in here. He, he just okay. signed a deal with uh, Jay Prince, but it's Jay Prince and Shakur uh, managing okay, okay, him. Okay. Managing I think him. I know he. I think I might know. He what, had a viral knockout on Shakur's uh, Jamel Heron undercard. Put, put but he, he he fight at uh, 40. 54, 47, 140. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I know who you talking about. He he out there. He was out there in Houston too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He's down I, in I, Houston. I know who you talking about. Right, right now he's in uh, out here because he's in camp, you know. But uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah no. no, they got. I mean, Jay Prince been doing his thing. He got nah, a lot, of, sure. a lot of talented for fighters. Sure. You know, obviously got Jared Anderson, Shakur. Yeah. So, you know, Jay's doing his thing. You know, on the fighting tip, and you never know. Maybe that that opportunity comes down right. the line. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's uh, that would definitely something gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was telling my boy, I was telling Antoine because he made his pro debut and. At this point, he had already been in Houston, already working with with Jay Prince and and. 
down there with Shakur and whatnot. So he makes his pro debut on, on Shakur's undercard. But I was like, yo, you trusted them because you ain't have no deal, nothing yeah, on paper, nothing. Yeah. He's like, oh, you know, it was coming. It was coming. He got the deal after yep. after the fight. But, yeah, man, you know, everybody's time is coming. Just got to keep putting in that work, That's keep it. improving. That's it. And keep giving people a reason, to, you know, to be interested and talk about you. Like, mm-hmm. okay. Sure. Okay. So uh, Danny likes to ask like uh, music you listen oh, yeah, to. Yeah, I see, yeah. I see that in Bones, Jim is 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 my music more Latin <laughs> music I, than anything. I think it's because of the time we train. Because think about who's in there. Rances is in there. Yeah. Abraham Martinez is in there. Yeah. So uh, yo, is that chick? Was that somebody's girl or is that a fighter? She looked like a fighter. Wait, which one? It was, it's two. Uh, it's one here from Australia, and then there's a Cuban one. The, yeah, okay, the Cuban. The Cuban. The Cuban. That's Rances' girl. Got to be Rances because every time I see okay. Rances, she's in there with him. But or not, not in there with him, but she's there. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, nah. She uh, she's here. She. I, I, don't, I don't know the whole price over there in Cuba, but I guess they don't allow females to fight or something like that. I'm not for sure. Out there. Yeah, yeah. So Cuba. she's a fighter. Yeah, yeah. She's a boxer for sure. She she the, every time we come, we don't see her training. Like, she's already done. Yeah. yeah so yesterday, yeah. the only thing that caught my attention, I was like, she, okay, is. Oh, you seen a shot of boxing? Nah, she got uh, the boots. She had some boxing boots on. Yeah. She oh, had some boxing I, I boots on notice. and they was tied on. And then, you know, she and her. What seemed like workout attire, and she looked in shape and everything. Yep, so yep. I was just kind of intrigued. You, they did uh, yesterday, right? Finally allowed for the first time in six yeah. years professional boxing in Cuba. Oh, I didn't even know that for yeah. the first time. That's a good interview See, if we catch Rancis over there. Yeah, because you know typically they they big on the amateurs. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like a lot That's of gonna be great for for boxing so. because it's gonna be a super influx now of professionals from Cuba. Yeah. I just don't know how that's gonna work with uh, entry. Right, because now what? I guess they were applying for work visas. Well, or see, something. I I was thinking last night because they're saying that they're allowing professional boxing, but I was like, is it gonna be only in Cuba? Like, are like are they gonna start their own professional league? No, no, nah, nah, I'm I'm saying turn pro, but it's like y'all still can't leave. You nah, get what I'm saying? Because like fight what? fight each other. I guess, I guess, but then. They would still lose their athletes to defecting because it's just no opportunity. That's true. You know, uh, in in Cuba they have such a regulated system, right? Like food is so cheap over there. Yeah. Like people don't even like a lot of people go to Cuba and stay in B and Bs, and it'd be like twenty yeah. bucks. Now you yeah, know what's cheap, funny? Yeah. I I had to leave my car here. I, Left my car key in his car. So I said, fuck it. I'm an Uber home. Yeah. My Uber driver this morning was Cuban. Okay. So I'm like, okay, let me see something. So I'm like, yo, you know who uh, Jordani Sugas is? Oh, yeah. Big fight next week. Errol Spence and, and all this stuff. And, and so when I brought... That's good. Yeah. When I brought up the, the Cuban, uh, the boxing in Cuba, he was saying how like... How poor it is out there. And he's yeah, like the only, man. He's like, you, you know, out there, there's a limit on how much food you can buy. Exactly. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah so they, so they like regulate. They yeah, regulate. They, it's, it's, they, they have. They have regulations. They so. don't want you to be any better than him, but it still ends up being that way. But they try to like keep everybody even, but it just. Man, I didn't you know, know that. that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, um, I forget what Cuban fighter it was. That told me, so they meddled. Whatever Olympics game they participated in, they meddled. Yeah. And they told me, they're like, it was a pride thing because they're like, when we get back to Cuba, we can't even keep our medal. And, yeah. And, and so so the fighter was telling me, he was like, as a matter of fact, the year I went, the Cuban uh, national boxing team was sponsored by Mercedes. And mm-hmm. because he meddled, he got a, a Mercedes Benz and the government came to his house and took it. And took the what? Car. Yeah, because you can't shine. If you Damn. outshine your neighbor, they know that's going to cause problems and, 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 and rob. Like, they don't. Well, I, I, I guess shit is changing now. Um, you know, I hear Ka- Din Castro pass away, and then the brothers no longer and, in and, charge. And now, or something. you know, now they're gonna allow you know professional boxing. So I ain't even know that. That's yeah, crazy. it's definitely That's interesting all. out there. But yeah, yeah man, what is in your playlist, really quick, before we finish finish up? I'm I'm curious. I'm in gyms. There's always music playing. Yeah, what gets you going? Man, I I could listen to anything. Anything with a rhythm, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm moving. 
But, uh, you know, rap, uh, I listen to motivational speeches on the way to the gym. So that give me in my mindset mode. And then some David Goggins. You know man, who that is? I don't. You you need to look up Dave, David, David Goggins. Bro, if you if if you want motivational speakers, this motherfucker is the ultimate definition of that. David Goggins. Like, like the ultimate definition of that. Him. Um I've had the pleasure of meeting him. He is a military veteran who now I mean he's literally a professional motivational speaker now. Dougie but um Goggins. he talks about basically everything being mental and yeah. like fighting through the pain. And, and things like that. If you want motivation, bro, David Goggins. I'm going to tap in. I'm going to tap in. David da Goggins. David Goggins. Uh, yeah. Certified badass motherfucker. For <laughs> sure. So, bad, 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 bad. Yeah, if you into that kind of stuff. When you said rap, though, what kind of, what, what artist, what you listening to? Uh, some Man, Dirk, I, maybe? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yep. Lil Dirk, Big yeah. Mill. You know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, The Baby. I bump, I bump a lot of stuff. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. All right. I, so, were you so, always? So, I'm sorry. Were you always into running? No, you are not. What? I mean, you had, you had two. <laughs> like, like, bro, uh, my man's you, talking about. You had two. I know I be cutting you off, and I should have in the chat be complaining about me cutting you off, but I'm gonna cut you off because uh, I got. He cut had you two, off. didn't he? Yeah, y'all probably end up sparring later. Right? Man, I <laughs> told him. He had two. Yo, he, had I told two. Him. he too small. He <laughs> had two. I'm sparring my man Malachi in, in, in like two weeks with my at my stamina back, and then okay. I'm coming for rice. My man too little, man. Uh -oh. I hear you. Uh -oh. He got he got a spar with the girl from Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, at least the, at least Cuba produces real fighters, unlike the Dominican Republic. That's you true. get what I'm saying? Now, can, now we got a couple <laughs> champions, but you're right. More Cuba is definitely yeah, uh, historically yeah, better than us. Yeah, <laughs> You but nah, I just want to tips on running, man. Like, uh, were you always a runner? And if not, like, what did you, I guess, do or tweak to continue gradually get more miles in and lower your pace, or I, rather, speed up your pace? I got a love hate relationship with running. Okay, man. so I, we we in the I same boat. It, but you know, I love it because it gets me right. But uh, if I do end up running, man, I gotta run like a trail or something, something that's gonna keep me like. I'm seeing things. If I'm just running on the treadmill, that's I'm, the worst. Yeah, it's just like I, after yeah. 10 Earl minutes, just said that on his all access. Like, same thing. I gotta run and see stuff. Keep my mind off of just running. Cause if mm -hmm. I'm just running in the same spot, like I get sidetracked, I get bored. Like I don't want to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After ten minutes, I'm like, how how far did I go? <laughs> like, I'm like, man, I'm done with this. Have man. you ever gone to Red Rock? I haven't. I haven't. Oh, that's on wow. my that's, on that's my a list, trail, though. man. Yeah, you said you wanted a trail. Nah, you know, but they, that's more like mountain climbing. No, no, no. They run. They Mount try Charleston, to call it hiking. You know, they, yeah, they, they run. They, they run. Everybody run Mount Charleston. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm but saying? But it's cold up there. The fuck? It, what the fuck? They got to do elevation. Anything. This the elevation. The elevation. Yeah, man, Yo, I'm what, to when they get done, when they get done with that five mile run, and you look down to see where they started at. I don't run that shit. I'll be driving, you know, <laughs> next to the fight, and I get tired just to look down. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, long way. Yeah. That, yep. that that definitely is a long way. But, um, oh, three artists. If you could only listen to three artists for the rest of your life, who would they be? You, damn. That's a tough question. All right. That's a tough question, man. That's so forever. As as so, like, for me... So so take into consideration, you know, how big of a catalog that they got, right? Because for me, I love Nas, but I'm like, mm -hmm. catalog, you know what I'm saying? For me, I got Kanye, J. Cole, and Future, right? Th <laughs> okay. th those my three. In I'm English, because I do listen to Spanish music as well, but, I'm you know. But, but yeah, Kanye, Kanye just got the hits. Yep. Cole, Cole be talking the truth, and, and, and Future, you know? <laughs> yeah, future, yeah, yeah. future be talking. Future. Yeah, he, he, he's he he would be on one of my list of three. Okay, but, you know him, Fifty Cent, and the third one. Uh, man, that's a tough one for that third slot. That last slot is a tough one. My man's love him some Fifty. Yeah, Fifty. 50 yeah, he get you right. Some Jay. Yeah. Jay probably too. What old about what about uh, Ness? Uh, what about you though? Year three, you can only listen to three artists, and don't say you can't do it, right? Uh, <laughs> definitely Jay Z. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my man Anuel up in there. Well, no, nah, I mean you listen. Okay, cool. I know you listen to English and Spanish. That's why I was like, I f figured you could do. You that's know. what I'm saying. Jay Z, Anuel, and then man, I don't even know who the third would be. No clue. Yeah, that, I that mean, 
I like Post Malone a lot, man. He make a lot of good music. People, I don't really? know why everybody yeah. don't fuck with Post. Nah, I fuck with Post, but now it's like all the tattoos and he look I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Him drinking beer just throws me <laughs> off, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? Like it's cool. I I don't drink beer, but I don't knock people that. But it's like my man's only and he, he be drinking like Bud Lights and shit. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, he look crazy now with the tattoos, but he still make good music. Yeah. Still make good music, man. Yeah, but uh So Sean, you think uh Camboso's got a shot? He 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 definitely has a shot, but mm. I got I got Haney winning easily. You know what I'm saying? When you put yourself in a in a in another position, uh that you know what I'm saying, Uncom- well, I don't want to say uncomfortable, but to put yourself in a different position to get something better, that that only pushes you harder. So right now, Devin Haney, he know what risk he took to to you know be undisputed. So man, I, I got Devin taking that. We from Easy. The, we from the go cash the check out there, man. <laughs> yeah. So uh where can people get the tickets for your fight? How could I watch it? Uh obviously, you know, for people that don't know. Yeah, so it's supposed to be the the opening. I'm supposed to be the opening uh bout for the UFC fight pass. Okay. So um I'm just waiting for more details, you know what I mean? But uh it'll definitely be streamed online. UFC fight pass. Oh, UFC you know, fight so. pass. Nice, nice. And yeah. uh, for those of you joining us on YouTube, Sean's Instagram, put that back up. Put that. Yes, back up, we got to change this. Why are you not going by Sean Brewer? Man, it's Gusto. My, well, well, my name is, is Sean Brewer, but, you know, Gusto, it, it kind of came from my dad. My dad re- right. used to wrestle, but, uh, you know. You got to think about it, though. You a professional fighter now. Yeah, they don't yeah. know you as I Gusto. I couldn't find you. Yeah, yeah the, the, the real ones know. The, the real, like, the people who no, know I you hear know. you. Yeah, but what you. about bro, the fans? Bro, you followed you're me right, on Instagram right. last night. You're I ain't follow right. you back because like, I'm like, I didn't even click on a problem. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, no, you know what I'm saying? I feel it. And then, especially right now, people listening, like, oh, I like this fighter. What's his name? Oh, it was Sean Brewer. But they can't find you. You got to yeah, do it back. Yeah, you got to yeah. put Sean Brewer and then put Gusto yeah, where you got Sean Brewer. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that. Bro, you got, uh, you, like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you want to be seen. You want to grow. You want to get fights. You want to get signed. You want to get money. The Thanks. more of a following <laughs> and presence you have, the better your negotiation is gonna be. Yeah, you yeah, know that. Yeah. You see Ryan Garcia out here doing all that he's doing without a title yeah. because he got so many followers. Yeah. But uh. Champ, man, I want to thank you, obviously. Nah, I appreciate y'all, man. It was, um, an, honor. It was an honor. Yeah, no, Boxing listen, and was. after the fight, we're going to get you on. You a local, man. You a stable, yeah, man. Sir. We want to have you on more regularly and keep the people up to date with everything that's going on. Um, as you get that information for the UFC Fight Pass, then we can uh, you know, announce that as well. Yep. But give out that social media one last time for anybody that isn't man. following you. Instagram, Gusto underscore the second. And then uh, you know Facebook is Sean Brewer the second. That's where you can find me at. And on, and on his Instagram, for those of you listening and not seeing his name on the screen, when he says a second, it's uh, Gusto underscore I-I. So G-U-S-T-O underscore I-I. Yeah. So um, not for much longer, though. Champ going to get his Instagram fixed. We're going to get them together. Yeah, and, yeah, and, no, and You know what I'm saying? So uh really appreciate you coming by. Always nice to have. Well, I mean, shit, you're the first... Uh, What's nah, the word? The other, What's oh, the oh, word? Local? No, nah, I was going to say from our, you know, because now we. Oh, gym. stable mates. Yeah, now we stable, stable mates. Stable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now now, yeah, now yeah. we train out the same gym, you know? Yeah, 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 so yeah. so definitely yeah. appreciate it. Uh, we'll have you back on, of course, uh, whether it be right before or right after your next fight. And, uh, you know, just got to continue to grow and build and, and keep making it happen, champ. So we appreciate it. it. We on it. Um, we will take a an admission, yep. right? Take we'll this take this quick, quick picture with you, and, and then, uh, uh, we'll come back. Let's do it. Oh, 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 right, oh, right, Patreon right, questions. Right, right. Yes, we do have questions from, from the people. Okay, okay. I got Dual Ingram and Compton says, In the past, former NFL players gathered and created a class action lawsuit against the NFL for concussion. I've seen a few boxers do the same after serious brain injuries and actually win, what do you think is preventing every boxer from suing sanctioning bodies? Also, do you think there is enough being done to protect boxers that haven't made it to the big stage yet financially and medically, a.k.a. the Muhammad Ali Act seems a bit antiquated? Man, he asked a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of questions all in one. Yeah, yeah, so the first one is, why do you this. think... Fighters are not suing sanctioning bodies more. I mean, Dillian I White did. Mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, Man, I ain't, I I ain't even, know. I yeah. even know. I mean, I just. There's a few. There's a few you, out there. Big names, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, Trout sued the WBA. 
Um, yeah, that's stuff I ain't even know about. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 in, in this sport, you know, that's what comes with it, you know? So, I mean, well, for me, shit, it just, it pushes me to work more on my defense, you know what I'm saying? I get hit. That's mm-hmm. the art of it, hitting, I get hit, you know what I mean? So, that's the that's what comes with the sport. But, uh, you know, if you're going to complain about getting hit in the concussion and stuff, then, you know, I think, you know, you shouldn't do it. Stay away from it. For sure. <laughs> I got James Valdez from San Antonio, Texas. He says, does Tank really have explosive punching power in his hands? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that man is strong. And it's crazy because, like, it, you, some some of the shots you don't even see see it coming. And that's the one, you know, that, that hurt the most. Yeah. Really quick, re- really quick, Ness, just because you did bring up Tank and you mentioned Brock Jarvis earlier. Yeah. Um, twenty and he zero. To Eddie. Twenty and zero. Eighteen KOs signed to Mr. <laughs> Eddie Hearn. So, so yeah, I'm looking at it. it seems like this motherfucker just destroying you see him, everybody. You see him working, man. Hey, tough, tough. Yeah, man. Eighteen KO. That was the, that's the ninety percent knockout yeah. knockout percentage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Knockout percentage. We got any more um, Patreon? We questions? sure do. We got uh. Ruin of 504 New Orleans says, any word on who you will be facing on the Detroit card? You kind of answered that. Yeah, you don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, not that. yet. Not yet. Um, we got. I'm sorry. I just saw a comment in the chat that's so fucking hilarious. What they say? They said that you pop smoke little cousin and I turn and look at you. And Yo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's you do, I that, I you that do that. You Yo, do got that little pop smoke. I turned that around like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I take that. I take that. Yo, we might need a short made of that, like a helmet pot smoke. <laughs> Yo, rest in, uh, rest in peace, pop right smoke, there. for yeah, sure, nah, man. Yeah. But yeah, go I ahead, see. Patreon question, my uh, bad. <laughs> no, that was good. Uh, Young Tigre says, more exciting fight this weekend, GGG versus Murata or Tago versus Garcia? Garcia. Oh, Garcia. wow. You think that's going to be yeah. more exciting than Murata versus Triple G? Everybody want to see what, what Garcia is going to come with, you know, from him switching trainers and him coming true. back from, from the layoff. Everybody want to see what he's coming that's with. True. You know what I mean? So, that is true. Yo, I, 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 I guess I, I, I'm just I, I, down I gotta, on him already that I'm not feeling that. I way. got a friend driving like seven hours to go to that fight. Wow. Because he, he was in Texas. Where's the love? Yo, this, that is love This, this right motherfucker there. crazy. He he hits me this morning. He's in Texas. Mm-hmm. And he like, fuck it. I just bought tickets. You know, I, he just moved to Texas. Mm-hmm. And he like, fuck it. I bought tickets. And he hit me like, you going on? Fuck no, I ain't. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no, I ain't going to that shit. Um, but he was like, yeah, bro. And then he said he bought the tickets. Didn't real. He said he thought the fight was in Dallas. The shit's in San Antonio. Wow. And didn't realize it till after he bought the tickets. But and, like, and that's what? How many hours from? Well, Dal- Dallas is San Antonio. Uh, about is, three, about yeah, three hours. about two, two and a half, three hours. But yep. but uh, he's Eesh. in a small town. I don't know the name of the, you know, but uh, yeah, that's that's funny. I don't know. It's a good card, though. Yeah. I won't my, my, give him that. i fighting on it. Shane Mosley. Yeah, he Shane Mosley, of course. Uh, he's fighting Rosado. Yeah, yeah, Rosado. Yeah. And then, Tough um, fight. was it Marlon Esparza or is it... Is yeah, it, she's on the yeah, card, too. Marlon Esparza yeah. is on the card as well. So, mm-hmm. Ryan, it seemed like you had something to yeah, say. Yeah, I was going to say, forget all that. The reason that's going to be the most exciting card is because we about to see Drunken Style in the fit. Ah, yo, that's yo, right. Yo, that shit's funny. We had Emmanuel to go on the show last, <laughs> last, last week, right? The guy okay. fight, you know, fighting Ryan. Ryan. Yep. And I don't know. You familiar with Emmanuel Augustus? Yeah, I know, man. Okay, okay. So, so he asked us, "What round you want me to do uh, the, the drunken, drunken master. master?" He's like, "You give me a round, <laughs> whatever round you want, I'm gonna do it. You watch, you watch, and if I don't do it, you call me out after that." <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to that because I ain't seen nobody really impress. Uh, I, I mean, doing the impersonation of um, Emmanuel Augustus. Yo, yeah. I was hard. hoping you would say a lower round because in the back of my head, I'm like, I don't know that he makes it to see the fifth <laughs> round. I was hoping you say a lower uh, round, but what else? We got now. Steve in the UK says, Hey, champ, thanks for coming on the show. As you're in Vegas, have you gotten a chance to spar with Nonito Donaire? Who you got in a rematch with Inoue? Hey, Who man. is one of your favorite fighters? Thanks for coming on the show, Steve in the UK. To get in the ring with Nonito Donaire, that is on my list of mm. goals. Like, I, I've been see, he used to train at Bones too. Um, I think he had DLX now, but uh, man, if I can get Damn, in, that's, in, that's... in the ring with him. 
That's DLX is uh with with Cunningham and Darren used to train and, and yeah, yeah, a lot yep. of fighters have yep. trained there. But yeah, I've been I, I've been a DLX. I I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's just like I ain't been there yet. I think it's yeah. it's like is there such thing as like too nice of a gym? I understand what you're saying. When you like, say I just feel like when you go in there, you're too comfortable. Yeah, I know, you get what I'm saying? I go in bones, I'm hot. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> yeah. like, fuck it. I'm already breaking out of sweat. I'm, Motherfuckers you know, in here working. Yeah, like, yeah, DLX. You know, people get in work. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah, but it's nah, just a sure, nice, but, you know, upscale I, boxing I, I know, gym. I know what you're saying. Like, if you're, yeah. going, if you're going to a gym, like, if it's too clean, you don't feel like... Let me tell like, you, you know I, mean? I went into DLX. To, I, I, I always forget her name. The lady that runs it. Damn, Yo, she... Offered me cucumber water. Oh, like if you go into <laughs> that a boxing, go the bathroom, uh, that's man. cool. Do that's cool. Thing. That's cool. But if you walk into a boxing gym that is offering complimentary cucumber water, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's probably it's probably too nice of a spot. <laughs> yeah, and nah, I know what you're saying. You know, know but what, uh, what you got, champ? I was gonna tell him that uh, Angela Leo just got work with Nonito yesterday. Yeah, yep, yep. I seen that. If I could get in that circle, man. We have a we have you know what? Nonito may be listening. Nonito tunes into the show a lot. Okay. A lot, a lot. So uh, you know, uh he may be listening, whether yeah. it's him or Rachel. Shout out to to, to the both yep. of If they yeah. are, please check your DMs because they wanted man. to come into the studio and they haven't even checked that message. Yep. They de- they know me though. They see they probably don't know me, but they definitely seen my face before. I've been okay. around them a couple times. So Okay, okay. Uh, do we have any more super or not super chats? Um, I know we have those. Uh, Ooh, six. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. See, that's why when you start what? working out, it's coming out. All yeah. that garbage coming out. I think that's it. Let me refresh. That is it. We're going to take this intermission and come right back after this picture with Mr. Brewer. Appreciate you once again yes, for jumping sir. on the show. And thank everybody for tuning in the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace